So in this video, I am going to discuss chloroplasts and the functions of chloroplasts. So, chloroplasts. And so overall, chloroplasts help with making food. in plants as well as other organisms but not in animals and so first we'll discuss the structure of chloroplasts and as you can see the outside right here that membrane is a double membrane which means it has two plasma membranes that surround the chloroplast. And as you can see, these little pancake looking things right there, those are called thylakoids. thylakoids and so when you get a stack of them such as right over here a whole stack is called a granum and so uh, the space between that obvious between the thylakoids obviously is not just empty space it's an aqueous fluid called stroma so let me get rid of some of this stuff and so essentially what you see right here in this yellow part right there is the stroma and you could essentially think of it as the cytoplasm of the chloroplast and so you can see most of the time Chlor actually all of the time chloroplasts are green and they are drawn with a green color and that's due to chlorophyll two L's and so what chlorophyll is it chlorophyll is a light absorbing pigment and it doesn't absorb green well, so essentially it just reflects green, and that's why your eyes uh, perceive it as a green color. And chlorophyll, they are actually located, so let's take this, bring it out here, and imagine that is a thylakoid. I'll use green, so that is a thylakoid. And so the chlorophyll is actually located in the membrane of the thylakoids. So chlorophyll is in the membrane of thylakoids. And a cool fact about chloroplasts is they can self-replicate. Which essentially means they just divide on their own and split into two. And now, finally, to sum it up, chloroplasts, whoops, let me erase some of this. Only primary producers have chloroplasts. So essentially think of plants, um, essentially living things that don't eat other living things have chloroplasts to make glucose and H2O. 
and so what chloroplast does is it helps with photosynthesis and that's a huge topic I'll talk about later but for now essentially what it does is it makes sugars or carbs from carbon dioxide and H2O and so the formula for photosynthesis is you have six carbon dioxides so six CO2 plus six waters and energy to give you there isn't enough room so I'll draw it down here to give you glucose which is C6H12O6 as well as 6O2 so six oxygens and it's important to remember that only primary producers have chloroplasts otherwise if you imagine an animal it doesn't an animal can't make their own food it has to eat others so imagine humans we can't just absorb energy from the sun and magically make glucose and so plants that um, that have chloroplasts and make their own food are called autotrophs which means they feed and make food by themselves so finally right here erase this autotroph